You know, when I think back at uh, just some of the applications and markets that have kept our sales force and our design team busy during the last 10 years, they have names that weren't, weren't even in our vocabulary when we started the company. They certainly weren't in my vocabulary. You know, applications associated with uh, markets like the internet dot com boom, uh, power over ethernet, uh, the build out of 3G, 4G, and LTE base stations, uh, the uh, surge in automotive electronics uh, that, that had navigation systems, safety systems, and uh, stop start systems, uh, the so, and then the special subset of automotive, uh, uh, hybrid and all electric uh, cars that required complex battery stack management systems, um, the so called um, digital power management. Um, micromodules and energy harvesting. And here's what I think is noteworthy about all of these applications. It took advancements in analog circuit technology to make that, that was enabling technology that made each and every one of those markets that I just mentioned viable. And what's really interesting to me is that, you know, we're celebrating three decades of uh, linear technology, the company. During that first decade, uh, I had to deal with this myth that digital technology was going to replace analog functions, standard analog functions. And of course, that never happened. And here, as we, we exit the third decade of our, of our uh, company, the, I think the appreciation and understanding of the role that analog plays in the overall world of, of electronics has never been higher. Uh, you know, we've been described uh, by Wall Street analysts as the gold standard when it comes to turning in uh, consistent, outstanding financial results. So after going public uh, in, in 1986, we've now enjoyed over 100 quarters in a row of positive cash flow and significant profits in both good times and tough times. But the second uh, most uh, satisfying experience uh, would be how right we were about the overall uh, future that the analog IC market could look forward to, and especially the high performance analog segment that we first gave a name to. So when we started Linear in 1981, the, the worldwide analog IC market totaled $2 billion. In the year 2010, it blew through $40 billion. And the forecast uh, for the next five years is more growth. So the analog world, the analog IC world, is alive and well. I think the fact that we have been able to establish Linear as a technical leader in analog circuits, and that fact has been validated by our product selling well, has really made me feel great about the company. Also, over that time period, we really established a great technical team and kept it in place at the company. The products are developed by the engineering group. They're defined by the engineering group. We can only sell the products that we've got out now, and the new products, we won't be selling them for two years so they're developed. We pick the products that we think will be needed by sending the engineering team out to talk to customers. They look at the customer systems, and in looking at the customer systems and their background knowledge of ICs, they can figure out what will be needed and what can be made in the future. And that's how we define the products, by looking at the systems and having the engineering group do it. We had a team. To run a company and to build a company, it takes a team of people. And we had great people in the team. We had engineering. We had production and processing. We had marketing. And we had management. And two of us are still here. Analog designers are uh, technical and creative. And analog designers are hard to find, so we grow them internally. Uh, we have a mentor system where the new analog designers work with experienced people to pick up skills. Plus, we have a great engineering team here. And good engineers attract other good engineers. So we end up with a really great engineering group. Plus, it's an environment where they can fulfill what they want to do, which is make circuits, and we try to make it easy and a 
clean work environment for that. Linear continues to be on track. Our fiscal year 2011 was our best year ever. And it was timely that it was also the company's 30th anniversary. It was a marquee year with record year-over-year -year sales growth and record earnings. These outstanding results validate Linear's lasting business model through a company culture that's focused exclusively on designing, building, and selling innovative analog products. After 30 years, Linear has become the recognized leader in analog innovation. We provide outstanding customer support, have a reputation for excellent quality and reliability, and have the shortest lead times in the industry. Our business model and our company culture will sustain us far into the future, and these are the key of our past and future success. Our in-market strategy is directed at the industrial, communications, and automotive markets, which dominate our sales. These markets value our products and demand higher performance and more analog content every single year. Our straightforward strategy, consistently applied, will continue to drive our future growth. Our current outstanding results would not have been possible without the efforts of the over 4,000 employees that we have working worldwide. It's the employees and their skills that define linear technology. And this is not going to change in the future. Engineering skill and creativity plus outstanding customer support will continue to be valued by our customers and will continue to drive our future success. Mm -hmm.